Hello everybody, this is going to be my tutorial for a smoky eye. I am using this Morphe palette that I just got, and it's got lots of good colors, lots of good starter colors that is, and fun colors too. Um, but we're just going to stick to the browns today. It's the 35D Desert Bouquet from Morphe. Um, I am going to start off from the top and use this white. Um, and I'm just going to put this all over my lid just to create a smooth base. Um, I actually don't use eyeshadow primer. I just use concealer most of the time and just powder over it. Now that works best for me, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm just blending this all over. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just all over. And then I'm taking this blender um, brush. It's actually two-sided from Eco Tools that I got forever ago. I'm going to go into that brown shade and I am just going to put that in my crease and blend and blend and blend. Um, it can be kind of messy at this point uh, because we're just trying to uh, make a base for what we're going to be blending on top of and adding to. Um, so yeah, this is the start of the blending process and I always say if your hand doesn't hurt your arm doesn't hurt by the time you're done you didn't blend enough white shade and I'm just going in and diffusing any harsh lines that there are um, there isn't really I just try to make it even more blended uh, and then I'm gonna go in with the other side of that blending brush um, it's just a little bit more dense and I'm gonna take um, just a little bit darker of a shade uh, this one right here Joshua tree um, and I'm just gonna pack this really good and knock off some excess and pack it in some more and knock off some more excess just so we're all locked and loaded in here I'm just gonna be putting this in the outer V and kind of smoking it out now you can do this as smoked out as you want you can stick to just the outer V and not go too much into the crease but I like a little bit more of a traumatic smoky eye so um, you know, stop blending and applying more eyeshadow whenever you feel like you should. And I also want to say, go back to your blending brush if you feel like you need to. Um, use whatever brushes you want. 
but I do recommend using a different brush for different things like when you add darker colors that way it doesn't get too muddy and then you can just go back to your blending brush to do any um, harsh edges now I'm going into a darker one and yes it's plant zaddy which I uh, totally love that color and I'm just doing this in a small flat um, brush just to do a little bit darker and to keep it exactly where I want it now you can keep it very 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 small in here if you don't want it too dark um, but I kind of like to blend it into what I did um, already on top of that lighter brown and then just go back into the other end of the blending brush and the actual blending brush and just kind of diffuse it a little bit just try to make it super blended and I'm going to do the other eye. So at this next step right here, I kind of look to see my progress, see if I like the darkness of it all. Um, you always want to check your progress and see if you need any more blending. Um, it's always good to take a step back because sometimes you'll be blending forever. And of course, I'm going to do just a little bit more just because I'm super OCD about blending. I don't like harsh lines unless I intend them to be harsh. So here I'm going back into that darker shade and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. Uh, it was not in frame, so excuse me. So, but um, yeah, I just put it right there and then just a little bit on top if you feel like you need to balance it a little bit more. And then go back to that dense um, little short blending brush and your big blending brush and just keep blending. And I do end up using a small uh, blending brush a little bit just to make sure I don't go too far, but you know. I like it and then you can choose either a brown or black or even go for a nude but I'm gonna go for a brown today just super brown um, look and then I'm gonna go in with some liner um, physicians formula liquid liner super black long-lasting it is waterproof um, I love this stuff I don't really use anything else um, ever since Taylor Wynn told me about it I bought it and I've been using it for years so yeah um, and then I'm gonna go back in with that medium brown shade and the dark shade and I am just gonna add a little bit more because sometimes after I do eyeliner I feel like it's not as intense as I wanted to and I do that a lot in my looks I'll try to do like the eyeliner and lashes and I'll just add more as I see fit because you know once you see the final look you're like mm, I could use a little bit more so I mean it is it is art you gotta you know go back at it and fix things and such so yeah And by the way, if you do want um, a beginner eyeliner, liquid eyeliner tutorial, just let me know because I know I have a lot of friends and family that struggle with it and they really will like a tutorial. So um, here I'm just going to be adding some lashes after I curl them. Uh, I was going back and forth between two different ones and I ended up going with the first one so this is what it looks like with lashes um, I did record me putting on lashes but it took me forever so scratch that um, and then I'm just adding some lower lash mascara and I am using the Maybelline lash lash sensational and of course it's the like extra black one don't ever use the waterproof one because that one sucks but anyways, now I decided that I wanted some glitter. Now you don't have to add glitter if you don't want to, but I feel like glitter kind of just, you know, just sprinkles on top. But yeah, I just add glitter a little bit as I go. Use a brush if you want to. Sometimes you can go right in with a applicator, but you know, sometimes it gets a little messy. So do what you will. So I just do it until I like it keep adding it um, sometimes I even use my finger to blend it out a little bit kind of just depends on how pigmented it is 
So yeah, this is the tutorial. If you have any other suggestions that you would like for me to do, just leave it in the comments below. And enjoy some weird credits. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you later. Bye!